regardless of whether or not you get the paperwork, regardless of whether or not you get the marriage certificate, you are married to that person because you got to spend your entire life attached to that person through the child. So instead of us saying you need to go back with your baby daddy or you need to be held accountable because it ain't no safety net, so you need to hold yourself accountable based off of the person that you have kids with, we say, no, nah, somebody else can be Superman and come along and take care of that kid when in reality, that man deserved better. It's no reason why that man that did the right thing, did not have children, should have to come in and take care of another man's child. That's let, let, let's, let, let's be clear about this. Oh, oh, hold on. No, no, no. He does have a choice to decide on whether or not he don't he knows right, that that would finish, her finish, her finish, and if he decides to stick around then he decides to stick around no she should have chose better because what happens with a guy is regardless of whether or not he sticks semantic not, that's semantic regardless of whether or not that man stick around or not he can be locked up and put in jail if he does not take care of his responsibilities Yet she doesn't have any responsibility or accountability for what it is that she's doing as far as leveraging family court laws or making sure that she aligns herself with the man that she's supposed to be with before she opens up her legs. You're supposed to marry before you carry. You're supposed to, but... So they can throw him in jail and he may not even be the father of the child as long as she put his name on the birth certificate because there's multiple different men in society right now still fighting the possibility of having to be held accountable for paying for a child that's not their, theirs because they didn't even know that that child wasn't theirs. On top of the fact that you can't you can't lie and say that the woman is not the mother, but women often at times lie. A lot of y'all dudes out here is walking around thinking that y'all daddy is y'all daddy and it ain't even y'all daddy. Y'all don't even know y'all true lineage because they don't even know their true lineage because somewhere along the line, their mama cheated and had a kid by another dude and nobody was able to use the technology in order to hold them accountable. But we not supposed to hold y'all accountable for the men that y'all choose to lay down with? So do you think every man should be um, asking for, you know, a DNA test or whatever at the birth of the child? Because my mom had my uh, my little brother do that just to make sure, you know, everything was what it was because she didn't trust the girl. But and of I course do. The girl but got guess, guess what? Guess what? It should be me. You know what's so funny about that? It's a fact that women advocate against updating family court laws and they're adamantly against DNA testing at birth. Why do you think that that is? Who's we? Women as a whole advocate against updating family court laws while also advocating for equal pay, equal rights, equal ability to be able to do the things and, and, and get all of the, the accolades that men get, but they advocate against updating family court laws and DNA testing at birth. So if we're talking about accountability, then how come they don't hold themselves accountable as far as making sure that they got the same standards as men? It's because they're feelings and they feel a No, feeling. no, no, no. Because we sat here and talked about it's the men fault, but the women are largely the ones that's empowering the system that then breaks up our, our very households, which we know is best for, for, for kids to be raised in a two-parent household. So if they incentivized you, and you if they incentivized you, you took the bait. You embrace feminism. You broke up your households. You chose to have children with 20% of the men because the overwhelming majority of men, especially black men, don't even have children out of wedlock. And who do we hold accountable for our communities if they're the ones that's raising the men, that then, that's raising the people that then vote all of these legislators in office that determine the laws that then allow for y'all to continue to have the bad behavior? Hmm. Your goalpost fucking left no, about a mile all, back. I'm it's sorry. All, it's all encompassing. My point is that the number one problem within our communities and in our society is single parent households. You saw for that and the, and the men that women choose to have children with. And then you saw for 90 percent of the problems and the issues within the black community. The goalpost is all encompassing. It's a circle. It's a sphere. It's I not, get that. It's, but it's, you not, were it's saying not one thing. I get that. And that's a whole conversation to have. But you said first. Um, it's Sims and dads who raise kids who are not theirs, and then you just moved to um, kids uh, because they shouldn't be I holding. Shouldn't. They should not be step baby daddies because it removes the accountability for the woman. If you knew that you was gonna have to suffer as a result of the men that you decided to lay lay down with and wasn't gonna be there and he wasn't gonna marry you as far as having children, you would make better decisions because you would know it's not no safety net that come along with it. But women psychologically in the back of their head understand this always going to be a simp that's willing to take them as a package deal when he don't deserve to be there in the first place. 
which also makes our community worse because you then through your actions are not holding women accountable. As long as step baby daddies continue to take care of men's children that's not theirs, it validates the behavior of women thinking that they can do what they want to do and still be saved at the end of the rainbow. Okay, so you, you're saying, you know, women hold women accountable. Let's say in an idyllic world, we do that. So are you going to go to the step baby daddies and say, we got to go? Like, are you going to tell them? Absolutely. I do it like, every day. I tell I men saying, every single day, do not be a step baby daddy. No, I, I know you do. I'm just saying, like, you know, it has to work because you said they're choosing to be in these relationships and be step baby daddies. So, you know, I mean... I mean, which came first, the chicken or the egg at that point? Because he's choosing to stew in his own shit. If that, you know, like... It's only a small night minority of men that's doing the behavior. I'll tell you what. I'll give you an example, right? Let's say, for example, that I take 99% of the men and I hold them accountable and I fix them. And I say, hey, don't be step baby daddies. Don't have children out of wedlock. Don't do this. Don't do that. And 99% of the men do it. Guess what? Mm -hmm. You can take... 80% of the women, 90% of the women, and 1% of the men can fuck up the entire community. So then who do you hold accountable in order to fix your communities? Because it's only a minority of the men that's having the, having the children with the majority of the women. So if I fix 99%, it only take 1% of a bunch of dudes to fuck up your community. So then you have to hold the people accountable. That's, that's actually having the children with the men that they shouldn't be with in the first place. You, you focus on the majority, not the minority. I'm not going to focus on the 1%. I'm going to focus on that 80 to 90% of the women that's choosing, choosing to have children by the same men. And y'all all do. Y'all have children by the same men. I'm confused at how that, how, how does that make, still, how all does All right, that step on up to the prices right. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I like me in the middle. How, how does that make step? I got to think. That's simple. I'm, I'm just, I'm just still confused with, with that. Are you like, what, what makes it? Are you saying because he has to spend money? Or I, I'm, I'm confused. With like your, your, your take on it. You, my take on what? Take marrying and taking care of another man's kids that's not yours. You see, you don't see a problem with that. He said, no. what makes that? It, it depends on how that woman is. If, if, if that woman is treating you like shit or. You know, putting you 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 have no authority in your own household. Then, yeah, of course that that's a problem. But if if that's the opposite, if you have authority in your household, uh, you're being what you think that she gonna put she gonna put you before that kid. She's that's that's what's supposed to happen. You even it, your kid. It's impossible. You and your you and your wife are supposed to put each other before your your daughter, right? That's, that's I'm missing where this has to do with the step baby. I'm yeah. not step baby that's what's supposed to happen. So if that is happening, then what's the problem? What do you mean? You don't take that's care of another man's kids. You can listen, listen, listen. I don't know where I'm missing this, right? <laughs> no Think about it like this. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me paint the picture for you to make it a little bit more clear. All right. Man A. Man A comes through and rocks out with woman, right? So so this is woman, well, this is man, this is man, and this is woman, right? Pronoun oh, straight. So then man fucks her mouth, right? <laughs> busts her down, she's moaning, she's screaming, and she said, oh my God, I love you. And he said, I want you to have my baby, and he go. So then he go over to another woman over here, and then he do the same thing, right? Right? And then you come along, because this is the light skinned man. Yeah. Not the, the light skinned man. man. <laughs> yeah, the dark skin the dark skinned man comes along. Yeah. The bunch Get of dark skinned men, bunch of dark skinned men walking around, and they say, Oh, you came with a package deal. Okay. <laughs> so now, after he got done doing this to her. And he did some of the wildest things ever to her, and he made her, and she took the whole load and everything, right? Yeah. And then this little alien grew inside of her stomach, right? And they had to figure out how to get it out of her, so they cut it open, and they and then it came out, and it looks like it looks like him, talks like him, is bow legged like him. It has none of your characteristics. And then you're going to come along. This is the black man. 
gonna walk around. Say, hey, and she gonna say, oh my God, he did me so wrong. You know, even though she loved him and, and he did all of that. And then she gonna say, but we a package deal. And then you gonna say, I love you just like you my own son. So, so now, tell, now, no, 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 now tell me we're in that equation because that kid is gonna grow up to still look for his father and not have any kind of admonition for you. And she showed you with her behavior that she was unable to actually hold down a relationship. That, with the that is, that is that, that's, I'm that's, sorry. Sure, she's, showing you, she's showing you that, yes, that she wasn't able to actually make a smart decision and hold down the man that she was supposed to be with. At what point should you come along and take care of another man's kids because you love her wife? You, you love her. And, and, that's, and that's the point there. The, the, the description that you gave is just like this girl's busting, getting bust down by everybody. She has some kids. And now the next the next nigga that come along is now her baby daddy. There's there's a lot of situations where women have their kids five, six, seven years old, 10 years old, 12 years old, 16 years old. What well, like and, and, and a guy comes along and that's not the scenario that you gave. It's not like there's plenty. Well, of what, what the connect? So at what point did they not cut her open, take the kid out? She well, took the whole load. Every, she was every, getting buzzed down. Every, At what every, point did none not, of that no happen? One, no one, no one's here having sex with virgins, so everyone's getting buzzed down. My you wife was a virgin, huh? My wife was a virgin. The majority of people aren't having sex with virgins. That's the point. Is that the standards that we have in our that's community? Not a, in our, no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. You that's just that's made my that. point. You just made my point. That is the whole point. Is that the standards that we have within our communities are trash because you keep enabling bad behavior by saying that it's okay for her to have a child out of wedlock or have a child with a man leave him and then look for another man to come and take care of her children. That's not nothing that I said. I said that most people aren't virgins when they meet people. Mm -hmm. Are you following? Most people aren't virgins. When I hear you. Most people aren't virgins when they meet. I people. hear you, officer. You you make I'm a, yes, hey, yes sir, no sir. I said I said I'm a I'm a I'm a special agent actually. Technically I'm in law. Oh my god, Ooh, special yes. agent. Yes. Special agent. Respect on Aaron's you, name and time. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Right. Kill right. him, Aaron. Get him, Aaron. Yes, special, special agent. agent 24 special agent AR24. So so the yeah. thank you. The scenario that you gave, of course no one's gonna, I mean. Of course, no one's trying to bust down and, and, and date a chick that's getting bust down, bust down, bust down, having kids after kids. But there's plenty of what did you think she did? How did she get those there's, kids? There's plenty of families, plenty of women that they had a kid. They may have had a kid when it was 18, 19. Now, now they're 20. She was, uh, she was getting bust down early. Now they're 25. <laughs> now, now they're 25, 26, 27. And they're able to have a relationship. We, I mean, and, and somebody's going to be a stepdad. That's just how it works. And you and you're saying they're simps. Because these women had kids earlier. They could have had kids. They could have been married, had kids when they were 22. Like, it, it doesn't. Okay, <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, no. I got a question. I got a, I got a question, Special Agent 24. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a felony at 18, do you not have, still have that felony at 30? Yeah. 